Well, hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. We are back working with the Kemper Editor. Isn't it grand? Look at it. It's beautiful. It looks a little bit like logic. And we are talking about the must-know keyboard shortcuts for the new Kemper Editor. First one first. I mentioned in another video I didn't know how to do this, and someone told me in the comments. Thank you so much. You can hit M to morph. This is a huge one. I'm in profiler mode. I'm down here. I've loaded up a profile. I'm on my dual delay right here, and you can see orange indicates the uh, the regular or initial value. Blue indicates where we're going to morph to. And if I hit M on my keyboard, look at that. All of the morphing happens. We can morph any direction. You see delay balance going down. You see feedback one, feedback two going up. And uh, you know there's other parameters that we might be morphing in other effects. It morphs everything at once. So it's, a, it's the master morph, it's the same thing you would get as if you hit the button on the remote a second time, or if you hit uh, morph. Let's get on to uh, some of the other ones. If I go back to my profiler uh, under all rigs, and I switch my Kemper to browse mode, I'm gonna pull up just a sort of random uh, profile. Yeah, how about this? This uh, Stu G's uh, uh, 62AC B4 profile. I'm gonna uh, load and preview, and boom. Let's say I quickly don't want to jump down here and uh, click all of these, although you certainly can. The number buttons, one through eight, all will help you access effects. So if I hit number one, we're on the compressor. Number two, we're on the, you know, the second one, the green screen. Really, it's A, B, C, D is one, two, three, four on your keyboard. And that, that controls all the stomps in front of the Kemper. And when you hit five, six, seven, and eight, you are controlling the effects to the in the back of the cabinet. So five being the X mod, the X block, six being the mod block, seven being the block on the Kemper face mark delay, and then the reverb block being eight. So if you really quickly want to jump around, you want to see some parameters. How do I have this set? You can jump around with this really fast keyboard shortcut. And last but not least, we've got the input output, amp, and cab section, and those are noted just by the letters you would guess. When you hit I, you go to input. When you hit O, you go to output. A is amp, and C is cabinet. If you want to quickly get to the um, EQ, you know, E doesn't do anything because it's, it's the editor is fashioned like the stage in that the EQ is folded into the amplifier section, so that would just be a hit for amplifier as well and um, you can actually toggle any of the effects or the amp and cab on and off by hitting the space bar. So space bar is the last sort of bonus one that we found. Now, I will say one thing. All of those that I just mentioned, except for morph, uh, only work in browse mode for some reason. They're currently not working in profiler mode, but I think that's gonna change. That's just on this beta build. I'm sure they're gonna add that functionality. And we talked about this before, but if I go back to profiler and I wanna create a morph, I'm gonna go ahead and load up uh, what I've got here. I'm gonna find this morph. Let's say I wanna morph cross feedback. To, to morph, I'm gonna hit M, like we said earlier, but to create a morph, I'm gonna hold Command, and I'm going to change the value from where it is, and boom, I've just created a morph. Now where I go back and hit morph, I've created a morph right there in the editor without touching the Kemper. Some people also had this. They said, HW, sometimes this is grayed out. Let me show you that. How come I can't save my uh, store performance to number nine? This is just a bonus tip. Well, it's because you haven't edited anything in the entire performance yet. Go ahead and move any knob, and this will be available. The Kemper knows, the, the Kemper knows, the software now knows that you haven't edited anything, so it's not giving you that option. Before, when it was a hard button on the front of the Kemper, it would just redundantly save over even if no changes had been made. I've been HW. I hope this was helpful. These were, so far, all of the uh, hotkeys that I have found in the Kemper Editor. If you get anything out of these videos, uh, like, subscribe, really helps the channel. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. HW, out.